All right, in this example, we just want to analyze the function and see everything that we can tell um, without graphing it. And then in another video, we'll find the five key points so we can graph it. So first of all, you have to remember that you need to factor that to really tell what the phase shift is. Um, that pi is getting impacted by that 3, and so you just can't um, ignore that. So I'm going to factor that 3 out. And that pi would be over 3, so that that would cancel. <coughs> Plus 1. Alright, so at this point I should be able to tell a lot of things about my function. Um, first of all, um, if you look right there, the absolute value of that is your amplitude. So in this case, my amplitude is 2. Um, my vertical shift, I can look and it's a positive one, so that would mean, oops, sorry, positive one, which means it's going to go up one. All right. Um, I could look for what else? Oh, my period. So that's impacted by the coefficient of the x there, so that three. Um, so if I look at my period, the normal period for a sine would be two pi, but I'm going to divide it by that coefficient. So I end up with 2 pi over 3 for the period. Um, <clears throat> let's see, what else could I ask? Um, my phase shift. So again, it has to be in factored form to tell now. It's whatever causes this to equal 0. Kind of like setting a factor equal to 0. Kind of that same idea. So it's going to be a negative pi over 3, which would mean um, that it's what? Going to the left pi over 3. Okay. Um, and I could figure out the domain, because um, the domain for all sine functions is negative infinity to infinity, because it just keeps going on the x-axis both directions. And for the range, I can actually figure this out as well. Um, the normal range would be negative 1 to 1. <clears throat> the amplitude would make that change to a negative 2 to 2. Um, but then again, remember, we're shifting it up on the y. So if I add 1 to both of those, I end up getting a negative 1 to what, a positive 3. All right, and so that's how you can figure out kind of the behavior of the function without um, by just looking at it.